Hello, YouTubers. I hope you are feeling healthy and well rested today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. The title of this video is Multiples in Protracted Gestation in Cryptic Pregnancy. This topic was requested, so I decided to do an in depth video covering this subject. Let's discuss the topic of how many women in the cryptic pregnancy community claim that they are carrying twins, triplets, quads, even quintuplets and sextuplets to claim to be pregnant with twins or multiples and then say immediately afterwards that you are not seeing a doctor, an obstetrician, or that you're not being monitored by a midwife is highly alarming, extremely dangerous, and highly suspicious. So let's cover the basics of multiples and address the blatant deception of claiming that you're experiencing an extended gestational pregnancy with multiple cryptic babies and these cryptic babies are healthy and unaffected by the nutrient deficiency and toxin buildup that is supposedly making this pregnancy last for two to five years. A pregnancy of two or more fetuses is called a multiple pregnancy. Multiple fetuses can be the same, identical, or different, fraternal. Identical twins or triplets come from a single egg that has been fertilized by one sperm. For unknown reasons, this fertilized egg splits into two or more embryos during the first stage of development. Fraternal multiples come from multiple fertilized eggs. You are most likely to find out you are expecting more than one at your first routine ultrasound scan at around 12 to 14 weeks. On rare occasions, the second baby is missed in an earlier scan as it is hidden behind the first. Since 1980, infertility treatment has more than doubled the American twin birth rate. The rate of triplet or more births is now five times higher than before infertility treatment was used. The chances of having twins with the use of fertility treatments can be as high as 20 to 25 percent. Chances of having natural fraternal twins is 1 in 60. Chances, chances of having natural identical twins is 1 in 250. Chances of having fertility treatment multiples, 1 in 4. Chance of having natural triplets, 1 in 8,100. Only about 30% of triplets are natural. Chances of having natural quads, 1 in 729,000. And chances of having natural quints, 1 in 55 million. Factors that increase the chances of conceiving twins are fertility drugs, age, the mother's maternal age, family history, cultural background, and previous pregnancies. All of these things do increase your chances of conceiving twins. If you are or expecting twins or multiples, you will be classed as a high-risk pregnancy. Extra demands are placed on the mother and the placental system on which the babies rely. This may slow the growth of one or more babies and may cause high blood pressure in the mother. There is a strong chance of premature birth. These risks are made greater with triplets or higher multiple pregnancies. The higher risk and possibilities of complications associated with twin and multiple pregnancies come from more demand on the mother herself. Fetuses tend to be individually smaller than those in a singleton pregnancy because of the greater demand for nutrients and slower growth in utero. Plus, there's less room, leading to an increased risks, risk of prematurity, and the mean gestation for twins is 37 weeks. The mean gestation for triplets is 31 weeks. There is a higher risk of congenital abnormal, abnormality associated with multiple pregnancies. There is a higher risk of cerebral palsy found in twins and triplets. Perinatal mortality at 22 completed weeks gestation and over rate for twins is significantly higher than singletons and even higher for triplets. There is a higher rate of maternal pregnancy related complications such as hyperemesis gravitarium, which is excessive vomiting of a pregnant woman, 
Strominose, which is abnormally large volume of amniotic fluid, preeclampsia, anemia, antepartum hemorrhage. There's a higher rate of complications in labor, including male presentation, vasa previa, cord prolapse, premature separation of placenta, cord entanglement, and postpartum hemorrhage. So this raises the very important question. How does a twin or multiple cryptic pregnancy last for two to five years with no complications or medical intervention? How are these babies born healthy despite no prenatal care? Especially when highly monitored women who see their doctor weekly suffer complications and usually require C-sections to make sure that their babies are born safely. There are a lot of families who have to deal with babies being born with disabilities as a result of being in a multiple pregnancy. And these babies are monitored by every doctor known to man. Yet it is said that in, cryptic, in the cryptic pregnancy community that these cryptic babies are born normal at home with no medical intervention and mother has absolutely no complications. Really? Hmm. So let's quickly cover the reality of twin and multiple pregnancy possibilities due to fetal growth, fetal growth restriction or intrauterine growth restriction where the blood flow is compromised directly affecting the growth weight rate of these babies, which is exactly why the women of these cryptic pregnancy websites and groups claim they have been pregnant for two to five years. The complications of a multiple pregnancy do not end with birth of the babies. Language and speech delay, more general cognitive delay or motor problems, behavioral problems, and difficulty in parent-child interactions all appear to be more common in multiple birth children as a direct result of fetal growth restriction. The chances of you becoming pregnant naturally with twins is likely, but becoming pregnant naturally with triplets is much, much more rare. The chances of both or all of these babies outsmarting the mother's natural process and body to escape miscarriage or spontaneous abortion to continue living with the immense deficit and toxin overload is impossible. If you think about it realistically, this is why vanishing twin syndrome exists. Analysis of the placenta and or fetal tissue frequently reveals chromosomal abnormalities in the vanishing twin, while the surviving twin is usually healthy. Also, impro improper cord implantation may also be the cause of a vanishing twin. Pregnancy is highly taxing on the body, and multiples are real realistically even more so. The risks are increased for both the mother and the babies and could have long-term complications for both mother and baby. Carrying a multiple pregnancy for two to five years due to slow growth of the babies as a result of blood flow restrictions, lack of nutrients, oxygen, and toxin overload is impossible. The risk of possible complications and mother experiencing adverse symptoms during this extended period of time of two to five years is very high. Increasing her chances of going to the doctor and her preg pregnancy becoming confirmed during that time. The chances of missing one baby in ultrasound is likely. However, missing more than one is highly unlikely. Palpation of the ad abdomen for more than one fetus can easily be done by any doctor or midwife. The bigger the babies grow, the more obvious it is that they are actually in there and body parts can be palpated from the outside. How can a, how can a twin be overlooked in ultrasound? Well, here, a, here are a few reasons. It could be a less skilled or incompetent technician, misinterpretation, and the two-dimensional two -dimensional perspective given by the ultrasound machine of the first scan only caught a glimpse of one embryo. Those are reasons why one, one baby can be overlooked in an ultrasound. It says when you, when there's a shadow, it's if the baby's positioned directly behind the other and 
not visible from view of the ultrasound tool almost makes it like an eclipse. However, there is no mistaking the presence of twins at the second ultrasound. At 20 weeks gestation, ultrasound performed later in pregnancy is not likely to overlook a second fetus or a hidden twin or more than one baby. Like I've explained before, the bigger the babies get, the more obvious it is that they are actually in there with or without ultrasound. I hope this video helps someone figure out the complications and risks involved in, involved in a twin in multiple pregnancy. The idea of protracted gestation with multiples increases the risk tenfold for both the mothers and the baby. If you think you're experiencing a twin or multiple pregnancy, please seek prenatal care. It is of utmost importance for you and your baby's health and well-being. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Be strong. Be powerful. Be yourself. Thank you again. Bye.